Hi, this is Mick. This is tutorial number seven. This is how I machine my spoiler board. Um, it doesn't require any CAD program, but I am using uh, WinCNC that runs on G code. So if you're running on Mac 3, I don't know, you might be able to do it, but contact somebody who knows what they're doing. So the way this works is the router bit actually has to be on the tabletop, on the spoiler board. So this is a brand new, well this one isn't, but it's, if you've got a brand new spoiler board and you uh, want to machine it, so there's my bit, it's actually, it's on my table, probably just a little bit too tight. So, okay, there it is. So it's on the table. What I do next is I'm going to take you to the screen and I'll show you what I do. Okay, we're back at the screen again. So there's the WinCNC. I don't have any blue or green boxes on, but it doesn't really make any difference because it's hard coded in. So I don't know if you can read it. But it says at the top here, do you want a machine, do you want to mill the spoiler board? If you say yes, you know, if you hit enter it will carry on, if you hit escape it will go. So the way it's set up, a G92 to turn off the green box, a G94 to turn off the blue box, an L21 to turn off um, the soft limits, it will raise it one inch off the table, because I'm on the table, It'll move to X0, Y0, that's why the boxes are turned off, so it'll go to machine home. Turns on the spindle, wait four seconds, it'll lower one inch, which would be to the spoiler board. I got my feeds, I got my speeds, and, and I lower it. Uh, I do a G1 is for a feed move, and then I lower it ten thousandths of an inch. So what I do is I measure my table. Or well, actually what I do is I jog the route of the gantry back the maximum it will go till I hit my stops. On, on this machine it is 35.9 inches. So I want to take 10.1 off so I just write down 39.8. So here I've lowered it down 10 thousandths into the spoiler board actually what I also did was an M37Z.8 so when I finished I can type in Z0 and it will be 2 thousandths above where the spoiler board was so the code is Y35.8 so that is going to travel from the front of the table to the back of the table then I have an L91.5 or L91X.5 so it's going to move across 5 then it will go back down to Y0 so basically you're going to go up and down if I load the file into my WinCNC then you'll see what it is and I hit the uh, preview button so here it is it goes up down up down up down up down and what I do is I move my gantry I move my gantry oh, I've got to put it in fast I move my gantry across looking at my table to how far it's going to be so I put my router bit you can see the red router here I put that on the edge of my spoiler board then basically I keep on making code I do copy paste copy paste until it looks like where it is now so then I've got so this will cut my spoiler board so all I do next is hit enter I'll put you back on the table the camera back on the table and you will see what happens so 
when I left the table I had the router bit on the table I lowered it till it touches it I loaded the file which I created myself into WinCNC now all I have to do is hit enter I'm going to pause a minute so what's actually going to happen I, I read it out in code it's going to lift up one inch come across to this table here X0 Y0 it'll lower down one inch then it'll lower down ten thousandths of an inch then it'll go back at 200 inches a minute um, again depending on your machine I'm not going to run the whole file but I'll show you what it does so I hit enter okay it comes up one inch goes across the router comes on four second delay So then it will go down. So I just paused it because obviously I don't want it to go down and actually cut my board. But that is the way that I do mine. Uh, no CAD software required. So I hope this helps.